Every house has something that can be improved to make it more efficient. A storm door helps prevent external air pressure from pushing cold into the house. Hi Nathan. Hey, how's it going Angela? Good, how are you? My name is Angela. I'm going to install a storm door so that I can have circulation in the summertime and insulation in the wintertime. When I grew up in my home country, Germany, I um, remember the winters. I was always told by my parents, well, put on another jacket, put on another pair of socks, then you won't be cold. So saving energy, it's a value that's instilled into me by my parents. With the storm door, I feel I'm doing a big, big part. And putting in this door is a very natural step for me to do. There you go, that's perfect. Let's do the other end down here too. I'm a clothing and accessory designer and I have a home studio in my house. So I have customers come to my house and I wanted to be able to open the front door and let some light in and also let a breeze through in the summertime. Cool. As well as much better um, insulation in the wintertime. So here's a little trick. I don't like to chase the screws around. So I like to just leave the bag closed and push through the screws that I need and pull them out. Sometimes, there we go. Now, these don't get lost. They just stay in the bag. It was a pretty big project, putting a whole door on the outside of the house, which is very visible, and it's more of an investment. It is more expensive. So I wanted to be sure that I do all the steps right. And I wanted it to look right, of course. Okay, so what you want to do first is go inside. There's a screw that we put in there before. Okay. I want you to tighten it up to the frame. All right. Okay. Nathan came over and he is very knowledgeable and he explained to me all the different parts of the storm door. He showed me how to use the power tools and then we got right to work. You don't want to over cinch it here, you're going to bend the metal, but you're good. Oh, okay. You're good. It's all right. We marked and mounted the hinge first to the door and then to the wooden door frame. Good job. We're going to go ahead and put it in a position. Then we marked and mounted the top. Pre-drill at these marks. And the other side. Good luck. Thank you. The door hardware was a little intimidating because you're drilling large holes in the face of the door so you can't make a mistake. But Nathan showed me once on his side, then I felt confident drilling on my side. I never felt all that comfortable working with a screw gun, but now after drilling so many holes and driving so many screws, I feel a lot more confident. So for the next project, I can really get it done right. Okay, this is the last one. Yay! Yay. The door looks great. It, I love it. It looks really great. It's awesome. Take it for a test drive. Wow. Wow. I can't believe it's finally done. Well, actually, it's not done. You see, we have to do the family.